Hey, it's Trisha. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Come watch as I change this toy chest into something gorgeous for my farmhouse style bedroom. Well, I'm getting my area prepped and ready and um, my drop cloth that I used there had some paint on it so I'm cleaning that up so I don't actually get anything that sticks to the floor. Um, sometimes the hardest part for me is prepping. Uh, I have to get all my supplies together and um, make sure I protect the surfaces and walls of my area. Um, I have those um, bed risers that my son had for college and he ended up not using them so they are great for the furniture work that we rehab. And this is a toy chest that um, it is about 20 years old. I have a video of the inside of the date. It was my son's, uh, my older son's, and then when he outgrew it, my younger son used it. Uh, they used it for various things, and it was out in our garage. And so um, I ran across it the other day when I was doing something, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this. Uh, for my bedroom for extra storage until they need it for their own kids. It's something that I had bought intending to keep for a long time. Um, they actually took pretty good care of it. Um, it. You know, as they were in high school, those last few stains that are on there are pretty recent from, from them being in high school and having snacks in their room and leaving stuff. So it's, it's actually held up pretty well. Um, it has some character that um, I didn't do any sanding to this, except for at the end to distress it. But um, my son actually wrote his name on the side and that you can kind of see the imprint of the pen. And um, I didn't paint the inside. I tried to keep it as true to, the, to how it was when they were using it as I could. So now I'm taking some primer, uh, it's just that Kills primer that I've used before in prior videos and I wanted to obviously cover those stains. I didn't want to strip it down um, so I just used the Kills and that covered those dark stains pretty well. I did try to clean them but for something like that if you wanted to retain the finish you can strip it down and then use a bleach, a wood bleach. I've used that on a project before and it actually works pretty well depending on what the stain is and what kind of uh, material you have. I probably could have done that, but I really wanted this farmhouse to be shabby chic look on this. Um, uh, so I just decided to stain, or not stain it, but to um, use that stain blocker to block those stains. And so I'm using that to get a good coverage and then I will go from there. Once I finished the primer, I'm using a chalk paint from Decor Art. It's Americana Decor Chalky Finish in the color Everlasting. It's really pretty. I really liked it. But I will tell you, um, I made a mistake on this project and I really don't know what I did, but I know I was keeping it and I wasn't going for this look, but I'll insert a picture here. 
so see how it had that crackle finish and um, that was the next day after painting I think I did two coats of this over that primer and I was kind of disappointed because I wasn't going for a crackle finish and I had to keep checking my bottle but I think it's just because I didn't let that primer dry overnight so just maybe test something if you're working with a new paint that's that's what I'll do next time is test it and, but I do like trying new things so it it ended up working out for me but just wanted to warn y'all just in case you recreate this I did two coats of the chop paint and then the next day I noticed the crackle finish and so I always just stress my pieces especially stuff that I keep I just trust everything I have my signs I used to make cards and scrapbook stuff I just trust that so I love that distress look I love that aged look and so I knew I was gonna do that but when I saw the crackle finish it was not the look I was going for so I was thinking I may have to repaint it so I slept on it for a few days and ended up thinking, well, you know what, I'm just going to try to maybe sand it down a little more, maybe just do one more coat over it. And then once I start distressing it, it didn't, it wasn't doing the way I really wanted to. And plus it was freezing that day. So I distressed it the way I normally do, just real subtle distressing. And I try to just kind of trim down that first layer of paint to see if that will help and that stuff was not moving it was stuck that way so I get my bigger sander out and I just thinking you know what if I have to redo it I have to redo it and then it just started just chipping like crazy and you'll see here in a minute it just chips like milk paint and honestly I've not ever worked with milk paint but that's kind of the paint finish that it reminds me of the way it did that now I did use a heavier grit of sandpaper and that's probably why it did that but um, so I was thinking okay I either mess this piece up or I'm gonna just have a really chippy piece and so I finished it and I clean it up and then I sit on it and I put it in my bedroom to see because that's where I was gonna have it to see how I liked it and I ended up really kind of liking it so I ended up keeping it and there is the piece um, there's the before and then the after is here I ended up uh, putting two coats of top coat poly acrylic on that and a matte finish and I just end up really loving it and it looks old like I was going for and hopefully one day my grandchildren will have this toy chest that their dads had as babies and they will love it too and for now it's going to be great in my bedroom and when I finish that I will show you all how it looks in there. much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the stuff that I provide. Have a great night and God bless you.